Once you have the synth flow app installed, let's go ahead and create our first workflow. Go to the left hand side to the automations tab, then click workflows. Go to create workflow, click from scratch. Make sure contact based is selected and click next. Leave the manual trigger as it is. This is a manual enrollment trigger and press the plus. Select Synthflow from the bottom left hand corner and select Make AI Phone Call. Now we're going to need a couple of things from our Synthflow assistant. We need the model ID and the API key. So go back to Synthflow and grab them. You can find them inside of your assistant. Here's the model ID and here's the API key. Let's paste them inside our hotspot. Once you've done that, let's look at the phone number of the contact. Map that to this field. Do the same with the contact name. We're going to use first name. And let's use the record ID. Once you've done that, click save. This is the base level of information that you're going to need to place an AI phone call. There is another feature which I'll show you afterwards, which is the AI prompt. But we're going to try and make a phone call using this. Go to review and publish. Click next. There are some more customization options that you can use, but we're just going to skip through these and turn on the workflow. Let's give it a name. And press save. Then let's go ahead in the top right hand corner and click enroll. Select choose individual contacts. Pick a contact that you want to call and press enroll. We're getting a phone call. Hello. Hello, I am calling from Majestic Estates. I've seen you complete our form on the website. Would you have a couple of minutes to talk? Um, I do actually, but just uh, one minute. Great. Are you looking to buy or rent a property? Uh, I'm looking to buy. Awesome. Do you have a specific location in mind for your new home? Uh, yeah, Manchester in England. Got it. How many bedrooms and bathrooms are you looking for? So we're going to cut off the phone call there, but you can see that our workflow worked. We have now one contact in this action. Now there's one thing that you might want to do to customize this even more. We can bring our prompt from inside of Synthflow into HubSpot and add more details. Go back to Synthflow. Copy your AI prompt and delete it. Now go back to HubSpot. Click into your AI phone call step and paste your prompt into this AI prompt box. Then press save. What this allows us to do is to bring all of our data from inside of the HubSpot record onto this bias script. So let's say we wanted to personalize the first step of the call. Maybe we want to bring in the person's name so we can use it in the conversation. Let's go ahead and customize this first step of the call. So greet and identify the purpose of the call. Let's say confirm the person is name. Last name, ascertain the potential client is looking to buy or rent. Okay, this brings a little bit of personalization, but you can see how you can bring in lots of other information, but let's just test this phone call. Press save, go back to enroll, choose individual contacts. Re-enroll. And now we should get another phone call where it uses our name to confirm our identity. Okay, we have another call. Hello. Hello, I am calling from Majestic Estates. I've seen you complete our form on the website. Would you have a couple of minutes to talk? I do. Great. Is this Tom Osman? Uh, it is, speaking. Are you looking to buy or rent a property? Uh, I'm looking to buy. Do you have a specific location in mind?
mind where you're looking to buy? Uh, yeah, Palma, Mallorca. Palma, Mallorca, got it. How many bedrooms and bathrooms are you looking for? Uh, four bedroom, four bathroom. All right, four bedrooms and four bathrooms. Any specific... Okay, again, I'm going to cut the phone call short, but you can see that now you can bring in custom information inside of your prompt if you bring the prompt inside of HubSpot. Let's go back to our workflows and let's look up the contact we just called. You can now see inside of this activity feed that we have the transcript of the conversation. And if you refresh it, we now also have the recording of the conversation too. This is important if you want to review the calls that the assistant is making. And remember, you can do this inside of Synthro too. Go back to your assistant, go to the calls tab, open up a call, you can see the transcript, you can see the recording, and you can see the analysis of how the phone call went.